Okay, this is the lock. Lock currently it is locked. Right? It is not open yet. And we have here the microcontroller, Raspberry Pi, as you might know. And this Raspberry Pi has a power monitor and keyboard mouse. We have here the display and mouse and keyboard. Power is not yet connected. GPIO pins. Some of those pins are connected to the relay module. And these are all from the red, uh, Raspberry Pi relay module. And this side is to connect. And then key has uh, the power from here, the power supply. And then the power comes into here. Uh, this is a hot line. And then another connects to this uh, relay module. So relay module is controlled by this Raspberry Pi. And then we have iPhone. iPhone has an app. So if you launch this app, then you can see buttons. So you may be able to see. Okay, this smart lock is now being activated by executing that program. It's now uh, waiting. And my smartphone, um, I'm going to enter IP. Okay, server is being activated. And then my cell phone, I'll uh, try to connect. It's now connected. And I want to open this door. Currently, this is locked. And when I press, for example, number one for open, send, then that is open. It's completely open right now. And uh, in this case, this is uh, automatically, um, on, it's locked automatically. Now it is locked. Uh, there is a preset uh, locking. In the first demo, the program unlock in response to uh, the user's request and then uh, automatically uh, locked it again um, uh, by preset uh, time. Uh, in this module, we are going to do uh, the time that I want to uh, uh, set. Okay. For example, when I open the door, I want to I want to leave the door open, maybe uh, ten seconds, twenty seconds, and I can say that, like uh, ten seconds here. Uh, to do that, I need to first. Uh, it is it is now connected, and I will send uh, one for open and ten for uh, for ten seconds, and then. It is open and in 10 seconds it will be uh, locked again. Now it is locked. And I want to disconnect. Yeah, I'm going to activate uh, another program. So it is waiting and I want to connect it. What it does is, what it wants to do is, uh, um, the, right now, uh, from smartphone to smart lock, so one-way communication. Um, uh, this program would like to do, uh, this smart lock will uh, say something to your smart uh, phone. So smartphone and, and smart lock can communicate um, in bi-direction. And I want to first open the door and I leave it uh, maybe uh, seven seconds little shorter and send it is unlocked and it says uh, from lock door is locked beam automatically uh, this is a previous uh, uh, the messages originally it says a uh, door lock is unlocked for seven seconds because I said seven seconds and then it's a reset uh, another message from this uh, smart lock door lock is being locked automatically uh, because it's uh, seven seconds uh, left, right? Um, this is it. By the way, in this case, uh, this code should be, because this needs to connect to the server, 
um, uh, and the data needs to be received from the server. Uh, the Python, uh, that interpreter is a little older version, so I want to put the Python 3. When I run that Python 3, it's being ready. And I want to be connected. And I want to send, uh, uh, open it and leave in 10 seconds. Then this uh, smartphone automatically send the geocode. Geocode will be received by this uh, smart lock. And smart lock uh, at the same time uh, download it uh, from the server. And then open it because it is uh, close enough, right? Uh, like it's unlocked for 10 seconds and then door is being locked automatically. And then it's now automatically locked. And I want to disconnect. Now another program is, um, I remember uh, that in the previous uh, demo, uh, cell phones, uh, the GPS is running, therefore geocode is taken from the smartphone and sent to, to uh, this smart lock. And smart lock compared uh, the location of uh, the smartphone and the location of that uh, smart lock. If they are closer enough, then uh, start to uh, do some process to open, right? Um, on the other hand, in this case, we want to see how about uh, we installed a sensor at the smart lock side rather than the smartphone side. A simple uh, sensor, which is a distance sensor, right? Um, <clears throat> There's an ultrasonic distance sensor. Of course, this is not uh, accurate uh, at all. But anyway, uh, this is um, a, a simple um, a demo. So I want to um, activate uh, uh, the server side program. Connect it. It is connected. And I want to open the door. And when I try to open the door, it says uh, door, the door lock is on. But what, ab what about in this case? Uh, this is uh, enough uh, distance. So when I try to open it, I'm going to leave it like this and try to open it. So what this guy says, uh, none appears in front of the door, right? Therefore, it is not being uh, uh, processed. But when I do this little bit uh, shorter distance, yeah, now it is open. So it is now open, right?